This is uh, a lesson getting on the woman. Can't get on the woman enough because a, a lot of brothers have to really know to avoid that pitfall that gets so many brothers. That woman. That woman. Because, man, she has, you know, that box that make your rod explode. But at the same time, they're so damn wicked and they know it. And their hearts are snares and nets. And they know how to snare you in it. You will be, you will find a, a, a nice little thing at work. Maybe she's a supervisor. She give you special favorites, favoritism and everything, stuff like that. At work, help you get a promotion or whatever. And then you want to break up with her. And then she's blackmailing you. And then doing stuff at the job that'll incite a reaction out of you that'll actually get you fired and she knows how to basically you know blackmail you and manipulate you i mean they're 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 evil they're they're a, a woman really is uh you know, uh, a woman is really can be a woman, uh, not woman. A woman really can be a man's downfall. And if any, sometimes it's your downfall. It's just something that brings you down pretty, pretty far to where it inconveniences you. You know, uh, Samson is a, a mighty man. You know the. Uh, the Philistines are coming. The Philistines are coming. He 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 knew the, the the bitch was the B word was was full of excrement. But what that box? And there, there comes a time where you gotta actually know how to really control your box, your your rod at your box. And really, you should ideally in a perfect world you would. You know, have that coming into this truth. You know, but uh, where you put your rod can have major consequences. It can have huge consequences. You put your rod somewhere and you raw dog in a woman who... You know, not on, you know, birth control pills, which I'm not saying that a woman should be on that because as they shouldn't. But this is just painting the scenario. You raw dogging a woman who is uh, not on birth control. You know, you, your pullout game is weak. And you shooting up the club. What do you think going to happen? A baby's going to happen. Eventually, I mean, if she's of childbearing ages. And those are consequences. Yeah, you, you just brought life in that world. That's beautiful, yeah. But it comes with consequences. You can be put on child support. You know that, right? Or it could work out could work out there's a a, a a million and one ways how that thing could go you put your rod in the wrong woman you know you could end up having a child buyer you could end up falling in love and you can't even uh get that spirit and you doing all types of things for her. just you just lost all sense of of common sense How many people, like Mike Tyson, Robin Givens, cleaned him out? He just had this infatuation with her. She was just so beautiful, he just had to have her. You stick your rod into the wrong woman, could get an STD. You could end up being burning like a uh, like nobody's business. You 
you have a woman and you end up going and sleeping with another woman and get your STD and bring it back to her. You got to really think about the consequences of your actions in general, but definitely because what you do with your rod it can affect you for the rest of this captivity. This is uh, Proverbs 11 and verse 22. As a jewel of gold in a swine's snout, so is a fair woman which is without discretion. Just talks, doesn't have no shame. Just forget how beautiful she is. It's like a, a, a gold ring on a pig. You have this girl named uh, Brittany Renner. She's basically like the superhead of 2023, of the 2020s. You know, talk about who she slept with and all this type of stuff, man. A woman's supposed to be shameless. And, and that's a fair woman, uh, a good-looking woman. But because of her attitude, she's ugly as F U H K. You know, scripture talks about staring at every woman's beauty. A woman knows how to, you know, captivate. There's there's women who knows how to, you know, get a man with her looks. Knows how to, you know, uh make her cleavage, you know, sit up at the right time, right, right way. You know, These women are expert manipulators. So you really got to watch and really you got to know what you're really getting yourself in. You you lay the rod on a, on, on a woman, she could actually end up being uh, schizo crazy. There's just so much... You really have to look at the consequences of your actions and your your rod letting you, you know, you're supposed to lead your rod. Your rod's not supposed to lead you. Ideally, if, if, you, if, if, if you love a woman, you want to have children with her, have a family with her, and raise the children, that's the best way to do it. But just, oh man, she fine, you know, I'm just going to go, you know, just going to go with the flow and just, nah. If you, you got to start thinking about a family, because hey, you know, if she wants some, scripture says she's supposed to be able to get some, I mean, if, if she wants some rod, if she, if you want some box, she's supposed to get that to you. But you got a lot of women nowadays that they try to go on sex strikes and all types of stuff like that. You got feminism that has made the American woman, the Babylonian woman, unbearable. Nobody wants to be around her. You have lesbian uh, have some of the highest domestic violence because they beating the hell out of each other. Women know the games other women play, and there's two. And they'll still be bold enough to try it on another woman. Man, you got to just be careful what, what you do with your rod. Just, you know, you just can't just be thinking with your, with your, with your rod all the time. You know, shouldn't be thinking with it at all. You see, you see a fine woman and you just, you just lose it. You just, man, I got, I got to be with her. I just got to sleep with her. Hey, you got some brothers who actually do a good job of of uh, not spilling their seed all over the place. But you got some brothers in Israel who got four or five baby mamas. And they and they're they're in a great millstone camp. And they and they've gained more baby mothers while they've been in this truth. And they're not living with them. They're not in a relationship with them. And now they're being extorted by them.
scripture says, give not a woman strength over thee. You're actually giving a woman strength over you once you have children by her. I mean, once she has children, once she, she has your children, she can put you on uh, uh, child support, all types of stuff. You're giving your strength onto her. So you got to really be careful with your rod. <laughs> and I know, hope this lesson has been edifying. I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Kakwadash, Barakatah, Double Honest, the elders of GMS, Ruel, Peace, Salutations, and Shalom.